Hey guys, gonna finish decaling this uh, 2012 Ricky Stenhouse Best Buy car that I started the other day. Um, it's been preoccupied with a few other things. Um, and uh, now I'm getting to uh, getting to finish this. I'm looking at the uh, the pictures and, and my decals that I have sitting over here. And um, I've already got the rest of the decals that I think I need to apply uh, in water. Um, let's look over here real quick. So... I've got this front piece. Uh, with the fog lights and then this here this opening but it looks like there's some black I don't know if that's tape or what that is on this front nose here um, I've got these decals here I'm not seeing the Roush Fenway decal on this spot right here so I, I've already got it on the back Sometimes you'll see it right here. I don't see it, so I'm not going to put it on. Um, but I do see some of this black here. And this, it looks like a rectangle. There. So let's see what we got in the decal sheet from Peta. Um, I've got this, this here. This here. I think I could use these um, and maybe this big one here I don't need these this was uh, some signatures and uh, it's already got the signature that's on this yellow decal piece here so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with that um, as much as I love Ricky Stenhouse um, I don't really keep his his decals that come extra so I'll just chuck them. But let me cut this out. And we'll put this in place. And obviously I've got to layer this. Uh, layer these decals here. I want to put the yellow ones on first. And, um, and then once they're in position, then I can apply these other ones on top. So. Drop that in there. I'm not going to keep that. i got plenty of those. And then we'll cut this along the... It's not a complete rectangle, but... Um, but it's pretty close. And I'll just make sure I one on one side and one on the other. Wash my hands. Um, I've got uh, this stuff soaking in the water for a couple minutes, um, so it should be ready to roll when uh, when I'm done cutting this out. This is a piece of trash or something. It's funny, um, I've been doing some wood flooring and uh, on the first level of our house. And here we're in the basement. And I didn't really think about this, but as I'm putting in the wood flooring with an unfinished basement, you'll get some debris <laughs> that will fall down from the ceiling here. And uh, so I've had to kind of clean up the basement a little bit with... Uh, with some of the debris coming down from the from the ceiling, little dust and other little pieces of wood and things like that, so uh, just kind of weird. I didn't really think about think about that when uh, when I started that project, and, but oh well. So I've got this yellow stripe. Here, I'm gonna put this on first. This crazy thing is 
open up like that. Come on. So this just kind of goes right across this nose here. And I want to try to get it as obviously as straight as I possibly can. Looks thicker on the car. I think this is this is as thick. There's very little overlap. Try to tuck that back in there. get rid of the most of the moisture and then we'll be able to put it in its final place would you tuck sometimes these getting these things to tuck behind there it's a real pain in the butt. Okay. So trying to eye this up. And using this as a reference point here. I'm trying to make sure that this... It's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's 100% straight. But that's pretty close. Let's see that. Okay. So now that that's in place, I've got this other yellow piece here. Get that stuff in the water. So the water dries up. What is this? Piece. Um, got this other piece, this yellow piece, and there's a black line on the top. Yeah. black line goes on the top side, not on the bottom side. Now this goes across this bottom area. And it's not, it's going to be, oh crap, is it short? Yeah, son of a gun. It's not very long, and it looks like it's coming up short. So what I like to do is I, again, obviously I wash my hands, soap and water. Um, I like to, I like to use my, my fingers to get it into place. Um, I probably should have got my finger wet a little bit. Just to kind of get it pressed in place here. Get it. Get it stuck in there. I'm going to get some of this micro sole here as well. And this is, uh, I'm going to say it's the hardest piece, but it is a difficult piece to get to get in place and to get right. Um, it just, you know, wraps around. It's not a straight. surface there's going to be a little crease in it as it comes around it's very hard to get it wow My fingers are dry it's sticking you really kind of have to work with this Um, 
patience is a virtue on these things. That's a lot of water there. So I think I'm gonna try to bring it up a little bit off of this bottom rung, this bottom piece of the car. Because that way I want to make sure that it it does go all the way around. And this top side is going to be covered up with the other, you know, fog light decals and things like that. So I'm not too concerned about some wrinkling of the decal there. Because it's going to be covered. But you can see how this is just a pain. I mean, it's just not... You know, it's not a, it's not a, um, a flat surface. And takes a long time to kind of work that decal into position around the nose. Okay, starting to get it in place. See how it likes to come down like that. think just trying to bring it up a little bit make sure it covers this little lip here but also is pretty straight coming across and in this corner it just wants to bend down all the time Stay in there. It's a little bit of water. This will help it stick a little bit better. You can see I need to bring it, bring it this way a little bit. 
Oop, that's a little much. Well, like I can, like you can see, sometimes this thing is just a, it's a real pain to get in place and to wrap around in the right way and to be straight. That's not straight. But once I get this piece in place, the rest of these decals will be pretty simple to apply. So once I get this lined up, I'm just going to leave it alone for a few minutes, work on the other decals, and then come back to it. See how this kind of kind of curves a little bit right there? That will. Um, that will be, um, you know, covered up a little bit by um, by these other decals. Looks like it's a little low. I can bring this up a little bit over here on this side. As you can see on the bottom, it just kind of sticks over a little bit more on the bottom, which I don't want it to. But I have to be careful. I don't want to rip it. So, just kind of gently pushing it up. Dragging it up. So, yeah. A lot of times on these. 2012, 2011 bodies. Let me just show you some on this other one. You can see it's got this like little piece that comes out here. And a lot of times I'll just paint that, whether it's black or white or whatever. Um, but looking at the picture of this car, the yellow goes all the way to the bottom. And I'd rather not paint it yellow because then I probably have a slightly different shade of yellow than what this banner is. So I do need to have it go all the way down to the bottom of the, uh, you know, of the car here. I was kind of hoping it was black so I could paint it black. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not. So and you can see this is kind of, it's just on this corner here. It's hard to get the decal to be completely flat because it wraps around and it just bunches up in that corner. So it's not going to be perfectly flat. I mean, I'm trying to work it that way. But... Here. You can just see how it takes time, you know. It takes time for this to work around. Got to continue to work it and get it to 
can form around the contour of the die cast body. And I love using this little paintbrush because it's soft, but I can I can use it on the back end of it of the bristles to be to be firm. Right? So you can see that's now coming coming together pretty well. It's going to be bunched here on this right side for some reason. Not so much on this left side for again for whatever reason. That looks pretty good. You saw me struggle with it. And I mean that's just common, you know. It's common to to struggle with getting these things to wrap around nicely. That looks pretty good. Okay, so let's let that sit for a little bit and we'll put these Best Buy ones on the side. Looks so I can see my fingerprint on that window. I wonder where that came from. I must have not had my finger so my finger so clean. I hate to see fingerprints on the windows. Even in my own cars, my own automobiles, I hate fingerprints. I hate smudges. I like to see clearly. And I hate to see them on my die casts. So I'm just trying to see how close it is on this side and this side. Just trying to line it up um, and and see my spacing. You know, I don't want it to be. I want it to be as symmetrical as possible. But sometimes you have multiple re reference points that don't allow you to have it completely um, symmetrical. And I'll say, because, especially on this side, because you don't have the fuel door, and um, and so you have a little bit more space, and so I, I don't want it to be far up here, because if you look here, this B is pretty close to there, and the Y, if I pulled it right a little bit more, it's just going to leave more space on this back side, and I don't want that space, I want it to look symmetrical. And if you notice, a lot of times on your pictures of the die cast, you don't see this left side. You only see the right side like this, this kind of photo. So you don't, rarely do you see this left side, unless they're in the pits or whatever. But that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so let's move on to the all-important grill. We'll get this grill on. Oh, that's funny. I just noticed the six here is blue. In the pictures, it's it's this orange color. And it's blue there. Whatever. I'm trying to make it, you know, using the decal set, just trying to make it as much as it was on the track. And sometimes you just, these little... Little things bother me, but there's not a whole lot I can do about it. I'm not going to custom make a little minor, little small orange six. Um, I'm just going to have to live with the live with the discrepancy there. And what I'm trying to do with this grill is I'm trying to get the the die cast body hood, little pointed area here and here, and I'm tr I'm using that as my reference point to get it to get it to um, lay in there little distance there, same over here, looks pretty good, it's pretty straight there, yeah. Okay, and now I'll put the fusion, the fusion goes on this yellow banner that we first put on. 
and with the grill yeah looks pretty good I can see I'm gonna run out of time on my video I don't have um, I use an SD card and it's only got so much space and so I'll do this one side and, um, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to put them all on I took too long with the with this yellow banner across the front but <clears throat> And I like the I like kind of the time limit on my videos because I don't know you know there's just there's only so much you can watch and, and learn of a video and sometimes you just get you know impatient and so you you know having a video that's you know over 20 minutes I mean that's that's pretty long I know I I mean me personally when I watch videos on YouTube um you know instructional videos or whatever. Um, you know, after about 15 minutes, I'm done. So I'd rather not show you guys videos that are too much longer than 20 minutes, but I can see this one's going to be a little longer than 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, so I'll get this on. That looks pretty good. Next, put this... fog light piece on here I like to put the grill on first then the fusion logo because the grill is a good reference point for all the other decals to line up around the, on this front part here so yeah so I'll finish this up let it sit and then I'll start putting on the um, clear coat. So that's pretty good. And then I had these pieces. They kind of covered up the fog light like that. Like that. You could see the fog light peeking out. They were so carefully on the side. And then I'll put this black piece in the middle. Offset from that, yeah. So yeah, I'll put this other side on, and um, yeah. Hope this was helpful to you. Um, again, apologize for being so long. I took so long on this front yellow piece, but um, but yeah, that's where. We're